In May, scientists with the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory flew over Kilauea summit to see the solidified lava from the recent volcano eruption, which ended March 7th after 61 days. But with elevated seismic activity in the past few weeks, scientists thought Kilauea was ready to erupt again. At 4.40 a.m. on June 7th, Pele was back. Many people on the Big Island were alerted about the eruption on the radio. This is a civil defense message. This is a Kilauea eruption message for Wednesday, June 7th at 6 in the morning. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reports an eruption at Kilauea summit. Alima'u Ma'u crater began at 4.44 this morning. HVO confirms all activity is confined within the crater located within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park at this time. There is no volcanic threat to any communities. Due to the eruption, you can expect higher levels of volcanic gases and fine ash near the eruption site. Please take necessary precautions when near these areas. You'll be informed should conditions change. This is your Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency. Word spread quickly about the eruption on the Big Island and around the world. People flocked to Hawaiian Volcanoes National Park to see the lava show all around the crater rim. Park rangers warned the visitors to stay on marked trails and at lookouts for their safety. They also gave tips of the best viewing locations. Watching Kilauea erupt is beautiful during the day and magical at night. The National Park is open 24-7. How long this eruption lasts, nobody knows. <laughs>